Hey, it's Jake Gossin with Altitude LED. In this video, I wanna give you a quick start guide to using ProPresenter for your worship services. If you're a volunteer at your church and you just got thrown into running lyrics and slides and your church is using ProPresenter, be sure to watch this short video because I wanna show you my favorite tips and tricks for navigating the software so it's less confusing, less daunting, uh, and you can just use it in an effective way for your ministry. Let's go ahead and dive in. It's really important when you start using ProPresenter to take a moment to understand the UI or the user interface because there's lots of buttons, lots of screens going on here. It can kind of get intimidating. So first, let's start with some very important buttons that will control what content, if any, is getting sent to the screen. So if you're looking at the monitor here, on the right side here, you see the preview window for our various screen outputs. Um, if I select this little drop down here, it's gonna show me my audience screens, which are screens that the congregation will see, often our online viewers will, will see, depending on how ProPresenter was configured at your church. So you can go through and you can toggle these different screens right here. So for now, I'll go back to my video wall screen, which is this one that you see right behind me. And then to the right of the preview, you'll see these very important controls in ProPresenter. Watch what happens. If I hit the X, which is clear all, everything goes black. So for some reason, you just need to clear everything because something's not right on the screens or you put the wrong content up there. When in doubt, you can just hit the clear all button and it will go black. And then there are other important buttons right next to the clear all, which is gonna allow you to clear the individual layers of ProPresenter. The way ProPresenter content works is just think of it as layers of a cake. At the bottom of the cake, you have your video input. Then the next one up, you have your media input. That's like background videos that are gonna be on your slides. Uh, then you have a slide layer. That's gonna be your text. Next up, you have some other layers that get a little bit fancy here, like announcements, then you have the props layer, then you have the messages layer, and then you have the audio layer at the very top. So what's gonna happen as you start triggering different content in ProPresenter, see how these boxes over here uh, lit up red? That means they are active. So if this main clear all box is red, that means that you have something is active out of all your layers. And then on the right side here, you can see I've got media content active, and then I have slide content active as well. So let me go ahead and show you a slide with some lyrics on it. And if I wanted to just clear the lyrics off this slide, I wouldn't necessarily have to click on the blank slide over here. I could just click on the clear slide content button. Now there's no lyrics on the slide. Um, let's go back and bring the lyrics again. And let's say I wanted to leave the lyrics and I wanted to clear out the background. I could do that as well. I just cleared the media layer and now we see just the lyrics. Those are the most popular layers that are gonna be used in most ProPresenter setups. It might get more involved if you have the video layer introduced with like a live video feed coming into ProPresenter or if you're using props or messages or announcements, but let's just keep it simple right now and understand you have the clear slide and the clear media buttons and then of course the clear all button as well. Before we continue on with this training, I wanted to let you know about our free LED budgeting kit from Altitude LED. Maybe your church is considering getting an LED screen like this that you can use with ProPresenter, but you're not sure what it all costs or entails to embark on a project like an LED screen upgrade. The free kit is gonna give you all the clarity you need to take the next steps in just a few minutes. So it's completely free. So go ahead and click that link down below to get started with your LED project today. The next important place you're gonna be working on in ProPresenter is gonna be the show layout right here. So it's important if you don't see this where you have all your slides laid out and you can scroll down and view all the song slides and all the sermon slides and every, all the content that was prepped in ProPresenter, um, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you press the show button right here, the play icon. Sometimes you might be in edit mode and you're like, whoa, where did all my slides go? Just go and hit the show button right here. Now you can see everything. You can also adjust the view in show mode. You can use this little bar down here to uh, make it larger if you have a hard time reading the text. Uh, there's some other ways you can also customize um, how all this looks like as well, but let's just keep it on the simple slide mode for now. 
So when you're operating slides, you can simply click on the first slide of a song. And I like using the uh, keys, the next arrow on my keyboard to advance song slides. I'm gonna give you a tip when you're running song slides, I would make sure you r advance the slides to the next one when the congregation is singing generally like I don't know, this maybe the second to last word on a line. You wanna make sure you're bringing up the lyrics of the next slide prior to when you actually have to sing it, right? Because people tend to read the whole slide pretty quickly shortly after you advance to it. So don't be afraid to advance to that next slide so they know what's coming up next. So this, this song, when all I see is a mountain, you see a mountain move. See, see where I made that transition? And sometimes you, you really gotta know the song and the lyrics and the pacing of it, because if it's a really fast paced song, you might have to be advancing those slides even faster. So even as a pro presenter operator, make sure you're familiar with the songs before you show up to rehearsal or on Sunday. The other thing I want you to understand with Pro Presenter, if you're new to it, is the media bin. So let's say you want to change the backgrounds in Pro Presenter on the fly. Well, first of all, you're gonna wanna to toggle the media button up here on top. That's gonna to bring up your background slides down here. And if I zoom in, I can make them larger to preview them a little bit better. And when I go ahead and select one of these, you'll see I'll have the same lyrics, but now the media layer is changing based on what I select down here in the bin. So again, if you ever approach ProPresenter, you're not seeing any backgrounds, you're like, hey, where'd all the, the different backgrounds go? I wanna change that backgrounds. Just make sure you hit the media button up here. It's gonna bring up your media playlists where you can toggle through different libraries of media that the person who configured your system would have loaded in there. And then you can select the different slides right here. Finally, on the left side, we have our library and our playlists. So a library is gonna contain all of the different presentations you have for all of the different songs. And then a playlist is gonna be a collection of song items and slide items for a Sunday morning. Ideally, this should have been configured for you if you are just the operator of the system and you can just click through all the items here on the left. Um, we have different headers in here. We can pull these in from Planning Center online to sync everything up. And then we have our songs, we have our sermon content. And this is a quick way to jump around your playlist for Sunday morning. Also, you can scroll up and down through the slides as well. All right, so if you've paid attention this long, great job. Let's get a little bit more advanced where we actually have the macros bin. Macros in ProPresenter, think of macro as a, it's just a, a bundle of commands that you can tell the app to do different things with one click. So with macros over here, uh, in this particular setup in ProPresenter, we actually have macros that are lighting macros. So if I click on a different macro, the lighting scenes you'll see behind me are all changing as I click on Worship 4, Worship 5. And what's cool is as a ProPresenter operator, um, because we're syncing this up with the lighting software, I can trigger different lighting scenes. Um, in some cases, what we actually do is drag the macros onto slides themselves. So if I go ahead and uh, look at this slide right here, if you look at the little yellow icon on the top left, there's a macro, that means there's a lighting cue on that slide. ProPresenter can create macros for different sc screen configurations. You can put audio on slides with macros. There's lots of different functionality that you can do with macro. And if you ever click a slide and you're like, whoa, why is all this stuff happening when I click this one slide? If you right click the slide, you can see the different actions that are on that slide, which oftentimes um, there could be macros on there or there could be actions that affect the look of your different screens. So you want to be aware of those. Again, talk to the person who configured your ProPresenter machine to really understand what the macros do, what they were intended for. It's gonna look different in every single church setup. But again, if you need to go in here and if I wanted to change the macro, I could actually go down to edit action for worship five and I could select a different macro here in this dropdown. This is the same data that you see over here, the macro bin. There's other bins here for props and messages and timers and um, other stage looks, but the most popular bin I tend to use in a service will be the audio bin. This is where you can have pre or post service music living in ProPresenter so that you could actually trigger that audio when you click that announcements loop at the beginning or end of service in that house music will come on while people are coming in or exiting. And it can really help create some smooth transitions in worship uh, with that music playing in the background. I wanna leave you with my final bonus tip for ProPresenter. 
if you are navigating ProPresenter and something does not seem to be functioning the way that it should, like you're clicking on something, something's not coming on the screen, you're sure everything's set up, make sure you quit and restart the application. ProPresenter is powerful, but it's not perfect. Sometimes just a quick restart of the application, sometimes the application in your computer can solve a lot of issues before you have to send Renewed Vision a support ticket to try diagnosing a problem. So keep that in mind. And one more quick tip, if you see uh, update prompt to update ProPresenter when you open it, especially on a Sunday morning, please say no, please ignore it. You don't wanna update ProPresenter right before a service starts and allow the person who configured ProPresenter to take care of that later on. Well, that concludes our ProPresenter quick start guide. If you are an operator on a Sunday morning, let me know what questions you have down below. There's so much more to ProPresenter out there, but I hope the tips I shared in this 10 minute video will really save you a ton of time and headache in the future uh, to be able to navigate this software and make it less overwhelming for you and your ministry. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more ProPresenter tips and we'll see you next time.